Alright guys, Eddie from Sailor Fan Talk here and um, it's a loss 2-1, we're out of the cup but I think, you know, when we look at how the Sailors played today, we can we can feel proud to be a Sailor fan today. I couldn't really say the same for the game against Young Lions or against Balestia Khalsa, especially the game against Young Lions but I wonder if Wen Ching, Arden Sailors fan, what does Wen Ching think about today's game? I think today we improved a lot and in general, although the finishing was not there but the passing was there and we managed to break into their defences like a multiple times lah. Yeah, compared to playing against Young Lions, we were not as good as today. Yeah. Do you did you feel that today the players seem like much more physical and more more up for the fight? Yes, definitely, and they should be doing that for the past few games. But no, we didn't see that coming lah. I think it's either they are complacent or they just never think of wanting to put more physical in it. Well, I think complacency is definitely something that I think might be a factor in the, in the past few games. So I just want to say one thing. Who do you think was the most impressive for you today? Today was, uh, to me, it was Diego. Diego Lopez, yeah, he, he was commanding everyone, telling them what to do. Yeah, you can see that he's running back to defense every time and then trying to tell the defense what to do instead of... Although, like, let's say that the captain is not doing much, lah, to be honest. Yeah. I agree that Diego really like pulled the strings throughout the whole of midfield in the whole game. Do you think right that um do you think that Elbirex were a bit aided by the referee today? Oh, I think the It's a tough question, lah. You don't have there's no right answer. Aided or not, maybe not, but I think the referee is in general is not not very well trained uh, to me. Like he 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 should uh, def- this referee definitely should whistle uh, multiple handballs that we can see. In, we have seen and then like no, no, no fouls, no nothing given, then it's like unfair lah. Like the one where Fire Trumbly was tripped in the box? Definitely, that one also. It's so obvious trip, but then still no. Just take it as but Fire Trumbly is diving, like what? Anyway, thanks so much, Wenting, for being on the show. We definitely have a lot of things to look forward to, including a Dortmund game. Yeah. Right? Alright, alright, see you again. See you. Alright, guys, I have here with me, Simon. Those who have watched Sailor Fan Talk for a while, it's probably your third appearance on the show, I think. Yeah. So, okay, Simon, I can give you a million dollar question. Yeah. If we play like that against Young Lions, would we have beat them? Uh, we would have, but, uh, but, but according to the number of chances we miss, I still think we won't, we won't have, we would have scored that much. Uh. I, well, I mean, I beg to differ. Uh. I think if we play like that against Young Lions, right, we would have won easily 2-0, 3-0. Uh. Yeah, sure. But okay, anyway, so let me tell you, or rather let me ask you, were you pleased with the fighting spirit today? Just fighting spirit. Uh, fighting spirit wise, yes, I was pleased. I could see that the team has been doing well. They went all out for it. They tried their absolute best. Especially people like Maxim Lestian, Diego, they played their socks off. Uh, you could see that there was a very improvement in the team. Yeah. Uh, okay, now the second million dollar question. Finishing, not good, right? Yeah, finishing was wasted. Uh. Especially Faris, he had a few chances that we should have we should have scored. Uh. We should have we should have won that game. So far as if you're watching this, I think uh, you would also know that maybe it could have done a bit better but honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say you ran your socks off bro and in respect for that. But that's what we asked for pre-game, that's what you promised pre-game and you delivered on that front lah, okay? So, bro, pick a man of the match for me. Uh, I have to say, uh, Maxim Lestian, he played, he scored the, the goal that kept us in the game and he ran his socks off lah. Alright, thank you so much Simon, hope to see you again. See you. We still have the Dortmund game to play. <laughs> yeah. See you, Alright. Alright guys, new face on the channel, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm um, Dylan. Yeah, I, I mean, I've mean, i been watching the Sailor's Club a lot this season. Yeah. Okay, so you would have watched the horror show a few days ago against the Young Lions. Yep. I think it was Halloween night, right? So, and then now, you look, you look at this, um, it's, a, it's heaven and earth like, to me. Do you agree with that analysis? Yeah, I agree. I think we definitely played. I think, in fact, compared to all the previous LBRX games, right? I think we actually did pretty well, but the finishing was uh, definitely off. Yeah, and we had so many chances. I mean, honestly, I think it can count like we had good five, six good chances. Yeah, so I think that really beat us in the ass and you know, too little, too late. I think there were some defensive lapses or so. Yeah. Yeah, would you? I mean, I think it's fair to say that in the first half, basically, besides the free kick, they didn't really trouble us, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, for sure. Uh, Yeah, I think we really should have capitalized and and, and got one at least one or two goals in the first half. Yeah. Second half, um, I think um, I'm going to say something. I think the players ran their socks off. Would you agree with that? Yeah, for sure. Every single one of them, especially after Maxim scored the equalizer, can really see like we were just going for every single ball and yeah. I was proud of them. Yeah. Yeah. What do you feel about the crowd? Do you feel the crowd helped to transmit some energy back to the players? Yeah, I think for, for sure. can tell that uh, especially, I mean, again, 
Yeah, at the point of the e equalizer, I think you know you can hear the crowd. I was all the way at the second level, lah. But I can just hear that we were drowning out the Albrecht supporters, lah. So yeah. yeah, I mean Albrecht supporters, you could still hear them, even though they were very few in number. But I think the crowd experience today was a far cry from what it was against the Young Lions. When I think sometimes you need the team to inspire the fans as well, and it's not always just the fan inspiring the team, lah. Yeah. All right, so thank you so much, Dylan, and I hope to see you back on the show again. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's the three of us We've been bringing you Sailor Fan Talk episodes For the whole season I think we miss we miss zero men's games guys Yeah, men's games and women's games also We try to bring it to you I think, how do I put it, ironically right? Or rather, strangely Even though it's a loss well, Ethan, would you say that we're proud of the Sailors today? Uh, I think we play a lot better, right? Compared to the past two, day, past, past two games uh, There's definitely improvement in the performance I can see that there's, uh, they try to do something about it You know, the past two games, the results haven't been great I'm sure the team knows it as well They they definitely did something today And uh, for, we had a lot of chances today And you know, a, a lot of moments where I thought we could actually have won the game actually But uh, of course, uh, our breaks are more clinical They barely had any chances But they still scored Which is something that's quite frustrating as a fan to watch yes. Uh, but uh, I mean, it's Albrecht. They are they are a top team, uh, one of the best here. Yeah. So uh, losing to them is uh, not something that we should be embarrassed of, actually. So we are proud of them today. Yeah. Credit Albrecht, proud of the Sailors. Joseph, what do you have to say? Were you impressed with any of our players, especially today? Oh, uh, we asked for effort and we got effort right today. So cannot fault anybody. On my opinion, I don't, I don't think I can fault anybody. I saw what we we asked for. Um, one player that stood out for me has to be Diego. The past two games when Diego wasn't on the field, there was no presence, there was nobody commanding, nobody to take charge of the team. But with Diego, at least there's somebody like, you could see he pointing, oh, you go to the ball, you do this, do that. And then his desire to want to win the ball, you know. There was a ball that went out in our attacking half, uh, when we were attacking in the first half, and he went to run to go and take the throw in because nobody was going forward to take the throw in. What a man, eh. I think desire and effort, thank you so much Sailors for today. Could have done it two days ago but I guess we asked for it and they gave it to us lah. Could have known more but today, no no complaints from my end. Yeah, I think the three of us are proud to be Sailors fans today. I'm proud to be a Sailors fan since the Home United days. I, I tried to wear this today hoping to invoke some history into this and hoping that Jalan Bersa magic of the cup will get us through but it wasn't to be. Uh, you know what? Uh, look forward to more content from us in the next few weeks and months to come. But really, this Sailor Fan Talk signing out. The last post-match review of the year. Oh, sorry. Guys, There's the Dortmund game still. Sorry. Thank you, thank you for your support, guys. Um, it's been a long season. Uh, thank you for watching our uh, post-match reactions or be it our podcast or our content. So, uh, see you guys in the next season. I mean, Dortmund game first and then next season. And I think our fans are going to come and mob us. So. Yeah! <laughs> Signing out, signing out. Lion City Sailors all the way. Lion City Sailors all the way. The Kuz got your back. All hands on deck. Lion City Sailors all the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.